Hello, fourth grade students. So today we're going to focus on our first song, Song for Christine. And as I mentioned before, right here, we have a D and an apostrophe. This is the high D. This is not your open D string. This is your open D string. If you see this one, this is a much higher D. And I hope you saw my new notes B, C sharp, high D video. If you haven't, please check that out. Um, so the finger number for high D is three on the A string. The open A sounds like this. And then the third finger, one, two, three. This is the high D sound, okay? If you are a violin or a viola, it's the same fingering, three on A. And if you're a cello, it'll be four on A, okay? All right, so listen to it first. Um, the rhythm is pretty simple. For a song for Christine, it's just ta 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 rest ta 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 rest and so forth. And as you can see, it's a lot more simple than the grandparents' day in terms of the rhythms, but the notes are more far apart because we have D and then we have it up to high D. Okay, so we're using both the D string and the A string. Okay, so follow along. I'm going to start right here. Just listen to it first. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. Rest. 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 Let's read the rhythms, um, but also with the finger numbers, okay? Actually, scratch that. Let's read the letter names, and then we'll read the finger numbers. So the letter names, um, for this one, we're going to just say hi D, hi D, okay? Ready? One, two, reading letters. Hi D, hi D, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, rest. G, G, F sharp, D, E, 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 rest. D, F sharp, A, A, B, B, A, rest, G, G, A, A, D, 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 rest, and then that's it, okay? So finger number four, high D is three on A, C sharp is two on A, and then B is one on A. If you're a cello, high D here is four on A, and then C sharp is three on A, and then B is same as violin and viola, one on A, okay? So I'm gonna go over the finger numbers for violin and viola first. Ready? Three, two, one, and then zero, okay? Let's start. One, two, finger numbers, go. Three, three, two, two, one, one, zero, rest. Three, three, two, zero, one, 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 rest. Zero, two, zero, zero, one, one, zero, rest, three, three, zero, 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 rest. Okay, if you need to write down finger numbers to help you, you can definitely do that. As long as you print out this page, you can make any notes on this um, because it's your copy and it's to help you. Okay, all right, so for cellos, we're gonna read the finger numbers, number high D is four, C sharp is three, okay? Just like how G is four for you and then F sharp is three for you on D string. All right, let's try it, ready? One, two, cello, finger numbers. Four, four, three, three, one, one, zero, rest. Four, four, three, zero, one, 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 rest. Zero, three, zero, zero, one, one, zero, rest. Four, four, zero, 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 rest. Okay, same thing for you cellos. I know we went by um, 
We went pretty quick, but you can rewatch that segment. And then once you print out your page here, you can write down the finger numbers to help you. Okay. If you already know them, you do not have to write down the finger numbers. Okay. All right. So both, um, actually all violin, viola, and cello. Let's try playing this together, but we're going to do it very slowly. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Rest. 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 Okay, practice it slowly and I want you to try practicing just one measure at a time. So you're not gonna go from beginning to end over and over again because that's not a good way to practice. You should practice in small segments and then put them together. So for example, you can practice just this part maybe five times and then go on to the next measure five times and then put it together five times perfectly. And then maybe the next day you can work on this section and then put this together. And then the next day, maybe you can put all four measures together. So I think you understand what I'm um, asking you to do. Practice in small parts and then put them together. Perfect those and then go on to the next. Okay. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show you my face. Um, I was trying to make um, a screen castify. And for some reason, when I turn on the video, it like lags. So watch my uh, other YouTube video. That is the new note B, C sharp, and high D. Learn the finger numbers, print this out, write down the finger numbers if you need to, and practice in small segments, okay? All right, you can do this. Um, come into my office hour if you need help. I'm available Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, so every single day except Wednesdays from 12.30 to 2.30. The Zoom link is in our Clever page as well as our Google Classroom under the topics, Zoom links and resources. All right. Come in if you need help. I will help you. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday um, if you are in Via Corda or Northam. Okay, 24th, February 24th, I'm seeing Via Corda and Northam students. Alrighty, thank you. Bye, guys.